it's mowing day. The beast has become wild and out of control. It's time to knock it down a couple inches with a 60 inch John Deere mid mount mower deck. Is it any good? Do I regret buying it? Should I have just bought a regular lawnmower to tackle my three acre lawn? That's what we're going to find out today on this episode. What do I think? Let's get it going. Here we are in the cabin, getting ready to go. Here's some of the steps about using this mid-mount mower deck that are a little slowing you down. You kind of want to get this done the night before a mow, but I was lazy last night. The lawn isn't prepped. There's toys all over the place. I don't even have the mower deck attached. But that's good news because then you guys get to see whether this is really quick attach or it's a quick pain in the butt. Kind of hit or miss for me right now. Let's get her started. It's been about four days since I started her up, so she's always a little, a little belchy. But she starts right up so far. That's great news. The easy step is getting my ballast off. Cause I just leave it right here in my little lean-to garage. I like to really get the weight off, especially since we're still coming out of all the wet, soggy rain we had last week. Probably about six inches of rain. So we gotta lighten the load so I'm not just leaving giant imprints everywhere. She's already off. Yeah, she's already off. So stuff about these quick attach is sometimes they're not so quick. They like to get stuck. Just gonna get off of there. Come on, quick attach. This is not a good start. We're actually running into a weird issue this morning. I'm trying to use the lever to let her down and she's not going anywhere. I don't know what that's about. I think the kids may have messed with this little rotating knob down here. Which the guy told me had something to do with the three point in the bag. I don't know. Step two, pallet fork. You gotta pop these things off. Not too bad. This part of this operation is pretty easy to do. Let's see if I can show the operation. It's hard to multitask here. That was terrible videography. There she goes, she's off. Let's get to mowing the deck, or I should say finding the deck. Where is she? I must have the mower. Where'd she go? Can't wait any more days to do this, but I thought I'd turn the engine off for one second and talk about my thoughts right here on this quick attach. So if you could follow any of that action cam, I was trying to get the tractor lined up, the wheels lined up on each little, uh, these little metal, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, some sort of protective cover over the belt drive for each individual blade. You gotta, you gotta line it up just right. And then you climb up over it and it should 
looks like snap in. You gotta make sure a few settings on the tractor are good. I'll show those in one second. But getting it on, I think my feelings is pretty straightforward, but we'll see if it catches this time. I think it depends on how well they tuned it from your dealership for your specific tractors, tiny little tolerances. And I don't know if they got mine dialed in super well. It's really difficult to get off and you'll see that later. But let's see if I can get it catched. Catched? Connected? I call it a catch. It's kind of like a good baseball term or a football term. It's like a good catch. Just, you know, solid, it clicks in and it's just like, it's ready to mow without a ton of, ton of effort. On camera, live for you on YouTube. Well, like 24 hours later after I do this, maybe 48 hours later. So let's give it a shot. I meant to show a couple things here. Gotta get this wheel set here. Just a very uh, clear marking, showing the tractor riding over the mower deck. You'll want the three point as far down as you can get it. And four wheel drive helps. So you gotta get this little Four wheel drive, I'm gonna gauge it here. Forward is four wheel drive, which because I'm always hitting it. It's so easy to engage. I think they need to fix this little this little bar. It's so easy to kind of hit it with your, your foot and engage four wheel drive. So not four wheel, but on. But you want it on when you get the mower deck, but you want it off when you're mowing your lawn, unless you're you know mowing a mountain, which I'm not doing. So let's see here. Not really lined up. It's hard to film and get this going at the same time. All right. You want a good, a good kind of lunge forward to get it connected. Well, let's see if that got the job done. There we go, percolating, making me want to be a little bit sharper up here in the old noodle. I'm not a morning person. So this is helping me quit calling this tractor a mower. I'm sorry, baby. I know you're so much more. You mean a lot to me. One of the things about this mower that I'm not sure is quite dialed in, when I first got it from the dealership, the mower deck was way off alignment. One side was super high and the other side was scraping along the ground and it turned out there was some you know some linchpins that weren't connected there was some stuff that wasn't tuned at all so i called the dealership the same day i got it and i said what on earth did you give me here so the mechanic that worked on it he came out and he was just working with some basic tools in my property to try and get it all aligned the guy told me though that i was supposed to be operating this three point much lower maybe that's wrong Maybe I'm not, maybe this is supposed to be all the way up and I'm only supposed to use this dial. And again, maybe I'm embarrassing myself right now on YouTube and some of you commenters are going to come along and you're going to say, dude, R T F M. But I'm a man and I didn't want to read any manual. So you tell me, are you supposed to leave the three point all the way at the top and only adjust the height using the selector wheel? Or can you just use the three point to adjust the, the height? I, I don't know if it matters. Maybe I'll try it today. Maybe I'll only adjust the height using the selector wheel. And then we'll see how that goes. For anybody that wonders why I wear yellow freaking sunglasses, I think I bought these when I was like 20 years old. And I only really used them when I would go on runs. And I never thought at that time that I'd be... <laughs> 
I'd be owning a John Deere tractor or a lawnmower in my life. And yep, they are pretty much almost spot for spot a John Deere yellow. So I did not buy these just to look stylish for all you John Deere fans out there. It just happened to work that way. All right, I told you I was gonna stop and I was gonna get to mowing and I'm still talking, but I figured I'd address that.
point where I need to take this shade off. I need to fold the wraps down so I can get under trees. And uh, that makes life a lot easier. My backyard also really benefits from taking this off. So to do it, just kind of pop these screws off. If I do this one handed, I'm going to probably get injured here. This will be hilarious footage if it happens. But you know, I'm a man, so I do things with one hand. Can I do it? Yeah, well, it's not one hand. It's it's two hands. But I got it off. So, and now the wind took it. So that was cool. Now we're going to fold the wraps. Pop out the... Uh, against this thing right here. So it goes down into the half position. Bring it back down. Like if I set it here, this is just gonna scuff the heck out of this. So you wanna put the, the pin in right in the front here. Now we're in tree mode. Lawn, the beast, has been mowed. Got it done. Let's see, what was that? That was, good grief, it's 11.30, and I'm not even done. I need to trim and hit some areas with the push mower. And I think I started around eight, so three and a half hours. But I think it's been a week and a half, maybe almost two weeks since I last did it. So let's talk about the mid-mount mower deck. And let's see where it excels and where I don't like it. And one of the things where I don't like it, and I'm gonna try to demo it right now, is I'm gonna try to take this mower deck off. And it's kind of a pain in the rear end to do it. So let me see if I can get this thing taken off in one shot. Watch, it's probably gonna be perfect for camera. But I don't like to leave it on. I've got enough bumps on my property and kind of like trenches to deal with it. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's try to get it on. We'll do some dual filming here. Got to pull these little pins up. Yeah, I just hit my head on the rocks because I'm trying to multitask. So that felt real good. Hopefully that came across in the camera. So you can see that and all laugh at me. All right. Other things you gotta do. I need to put the wraps back up and go get my, my sunshade. All right, other step. Turn this bad boy all the way around if I can get it. All right, well. Now we're in that position. I forgot which way the guy said to do it. We're all the way up right now. But one of the tips is to leave a patch of tall grass so that you can use it for friction to help kind of suit the mower deck. I leave a little bit more distance than I naturally would with the fence in front of me because when you're trying to reattach it, sometimes I end up dragging this mower towards the fence. So let's see here if I can do this on first try. Low, put it in four wheel, back up a little, and then let's uh let's drop this down fast. Kind of dragging it on the ground here. Let's see if we did it. Let's see if we 
did it. Neutral. Ooh, did we get it? Oh my goodness. Let's see if we got the other side. Oh my gosh. Of course, I do it on my first try with this. I've never done this with my first try, so YouTube, apparently I need to crack my head on this rocks over and over again. Let's try. This is a lot of grass. So I'm a military guy. Well, I am retiring from the military. So any good general wants to know the bottom line up front, the bluff. Bottom line up front is this tool is working great for my property and I would recommend it for somebody and you just have to watch the video to see you know, what my property is. So let's talk about kind of the top five likes and top five dislikes about the 60 inch mower deck. Number one like, and this isn't really about the mower deck, I think it's more about the tractor, which is one of the reasons I got it, was uh, turning radius. You'll see in a lot of the video, I really was able to, you can almost make a 90 degree turn with it and keep the mower deck over that turn. And so uh, it's not perfect, but with the, the knob on the wheel, you really can navigate this thing really well. And that also goes for one fence lines. It's easy to get that 60 inch kind of up and save you a lot of trimming time underneath fences. I'm really scuffing up this side of the mower deck here. It's getting beat up by the barbed wire. And I'm trying to think of how I could just reinforce it some, um, just because it's nice to be able to ride up under my fence line. Um, I don't think it's gonna be any issue. It's just gonna start looking pretty bad over time. So turning radius, 60 inch mower deck is, that's the top other like is how far out this left-hand side sits. After complaining about quick disconnect, it worked. And maybe I'm zeroing in on the technique more of how to do it. Or maybe the tolerances are getting a little bit less tight as I use it more and more. But this time it finally came right off. We'll put it in both categories for now. Thing number four, I would say, is power. It is, this is heavy, multi-mixed prairie grasses kind of out here. It's got weed grass, clover, Bermuda, fescue. There's a whole mix and it gets really thick. I'm talking probably a foot thick. And you'll hear the engine crank up a little bit when it goes through there and trying to keep its RPMs up, but not much. It really just rips through grass and um, works great. I'm, I'm not struggling with that part at all. Speed would probably be my other top like, and this is one of the reasons that I thought I would go with a mid-mount mower deck over the dedicated mower. You could crank it up. I mean, I can go the max speed of this thing, which is probably nine or 10 miles an hour over the grass, and it still takes three, three plus hours to mow the lawn. So top dislikes, cut quality, I don't know. This isn't a golf course grass area. We've got mostly Bermuda grass in the front yard, a full mix in the pasture, all different types of grasses. It's really hard to tell how much of a quality job it does in cutting the grass. I think it looks great. And it's great grass. And I, and I don't, I don't really want to pay to <laughs> turn this into some golf course lawn. We've got other priorities here. So cut quality, I don't know enough about it to tell anybody if you had a very pristine lawn, how well it would do. Uh, the quick disconnect and connect. Like I said, I'm mixed on it because every time I tell this one, getting it off has been a real pain because it, I've had to really use muscle strength to kind of grab on one of these wheels and kind of jerk it back on one side and get it unseated from the setup. But then this time it just, one try. Maybe I need to keep knocking my head with the ROPS. Uh, that's the third dislike with using the tractor for mowing a lawn is the ROPS. It takes longer 
than a dedicated machine because when you want to get into tight spaces or under trees, you got to take your cover off, you got to fold the rops down. And because I chose to get the Rhino Hide Canopy, it takes a little bit longer. And I forgot that I left that all the way up in the front of the property. So I got to go get it. I'm going to put this in my dislike because it's going to force me to add more money to the cost of this deck. Is I feel like John Deere, the cost of it is pretty exorbitant for what it is. I don't know how they get away with it being like $3,200 just for a deck. Almost completely need to get the mulching attachment. Even if I don't care about the side discharge or that kind of more unsightly piling up grass on the property, which I do, it's the wind here in Oklahoma makes it a miserable experience when you, if you don't get the discharge going in the right direction, it can really slow down your mowing because I'm worrying about not just eating so much grass. And, but the side discharge and the Oklahoma wind are just not compatible. I don't see any reason to change. Uh, I don't see any reason to go out. I would probably have to buy a $7,000 mower, my guess, to handle this much property at speed and not have an issue. So it does save me money having already a need for the tractor to have just bought the deck. I would say the summation of all this is that it's getting very uncomfortable to sit right here. The, the summary of the mid-mount mower deck is it's working great. Um, I don't really have any issue with it for my need here. I know a lot of people just say they flat out don't like it. It gets the job done for what I need and I don't see any reason to go with something else uh, at all. It's actually pretty incredible how, how nimble this huge tractor is to get up to edges and get to corners that you guys can just observe how it looks on a big field like this. And so hopefully that's helpful and useful to anybody out there rambling now and that makes my job in post-production a lot harder to get through the noise to the key essential points. So we'll see you next time on Corum Deo YouTube.